What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to do books that are basically on their last leg so if I don't read them in 2021 then they're gone because I know that I'm not going to most likely not going to read any of these in the month of December and I have plenty of books on my November TBR so I'm not reading any of them this month. Um, but if I don't read these in 2021, then they're gone. Um, some of them I have like author wise, um, but like if I read like one or two books by the author in 2021, then I'll keep the books unless obviously I don't like them. Um, so yeah, the first book I have is Midnight at Marble Arch or Arc, I don't know how you say that, um, by Anne Perry. Um, this is about two detectives who are involved in a rape suicide case um but like with a bunch of like, unanswered questions they're wondering if it really was a suicide so they're investigating a murder and um they're just trying to get through life at the same time i don't know when this book takes place if i'm being completely honest um but just by the cover i can tell that it's very much so a historical fiction which i'm not the best like I don't, I don't get along with murder mysteries and historical fiction in one so we're just gonna like see how this works um but yeah <clears throat> the next book i have is 11th hour by james patterson and maxine petro i'm gonna assume that's how you say her name um this has been this is on my tbr for about three or four months this year like at the very beginning um, but I just never got around to reading it because I just never had the time to. But this is another murder mystery. Uh, it's more of a homicide case than anything else. Um, and it follows the detective like Lindsay Boxer, who found out she was pregnant. Um, and then there are a bunch of murder cases that seem to correlate in one way or the other from like upscale criminals to just millionaires in general. So, um, Lindsay is over here trying to figure out who is killing all these people, but articles about her personal life are also coming out, so she doesn't know who she can trust, especially not her husband, who would seem to be the only person to know these things, as well as, like, some of her closest friends, because things start to go missing from her department. Um, so, so it sounds good, like, it sounds like something I would read, but the name James Patterson just screams boring to me, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Because my mom really wants me to read this. So, we'll see. The next book I have is The Air, the Heiress at Winterwood. That's what it's called. By Sarah Land Ladd. Why can't I pronounce that? Um, but this is about a woman named Amelia Barrett. Who's an heiress to an estate in the English Moors. Which is basically the first sentence of the synopsis. Um, and she starts raising a child to her friend who just recently died. And she also marries her husband, which is just a little sus to me. Um, but then the child goes missing and the only thing left is a really weird ransom note. And the two people, Amelia and Graham, who is, I'm going to assume, the husband, um, work together to try and find this child. And they have to overcome like their biggest weaknesses is what it's described as. But I just think it's the need to get over themselves and uh, work together. The next book I have is Charles Finch's um, A Beautiful Blue Death. I actually did end up reading the first, I think, 100 or so pages of this book last year. Beginning, like, very beginning of this year. Um, but this is basically about a, a detective named Charles Lennox. Um, are, are, we, are we seeing the vibe here? Um, who just likes to relax when his friend Lady Jane comes to him. Um, saying, hey, my old servant died and I don't think it was a suicide. Um, Charles starts to investigate the murder and finds a very rare and very expensive um, poison, which a servant would not be able to afford in any case. Um, and when all the sus suspects are piled up, he just doesn't know where to look first because all of them have different motives of what's happening basically the next book i have is mr penumbra 
Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. This was super popular, like, right as I was getting into booktube in April-ish, around that time. Um, and my mom really enjoyed this book, and she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you have to read this. And I was like, okay. Haven't read it. Really, the only thing appealing to me is that the fact, the fact that this cover is yellow, and it matches my shirt, and it's really cute. Anyway, it's about a boy or a man, a young man. He seems kind of like just out of college to me. Yeah, just out of college. Um, his name is Clay, and he wanted a life away from his normal web design job and gets a job at a bookstore, um, Mr. For Numbers 24 Hour Bookstore. And when the customers start acting strange, he's like, he gets his friends and is like, hey, we need to figure this out because this is weird. And he starts to notice um, some unnerving things. And uh, yeah. The next book I have is the only middle grade. I think it's the only book really that is a standalone that is made for somebody under the age of like 30, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but this is about a boy, or well, called Dunnett and Norvell, and it's by Jack Gatos, Gant Gantos, that's also the name of the main character, so I don't know if this is like a version of like a, what's that I'm looking for, autobiography, I think that's the term, normal biography, do you see, do you, yeah, anyway, um, it's about a guy named Jack Gantos, or a boy, or whatever, um, and he gets grounded for life. I don't know what for. Um, and he, his mom basically loans him off to the neighbor, like, hey, help him, help us get money. When his parents split up, I think they split up. I don't know. Um, anyway, he is like, okay, cool. And then he goes and starts working and goes on all these trips and it says, uh, with an unusual activity involving the newly dead and the long departed, a motorcycle gang and a man on a trike, as well as twisted promises and possibly murder. I would just like to mention that I got this at a fifth grade book fair. Also, I'm going to mention authors, like at the very end, because books in here is an author thing and not necessarily like a book thing. I just thought I'd say and mention that at the end because this one reminded me to, yeah. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but the other author is Anne Perry. Next is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, I have no idea what this is about. Literally no idea. But the book is pretty and it has double edges. Moving on to series, 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 plural. The first book I have is Halflings by Heather Birch. This is the first book in, I'm going to assume, the Halflings series haven't heard of any more books in this series um but this is about a girl named nikki who finds herself being hunted by the evil force and she gets some protectors um who are named mace raven and vine the only name that sounds normal in that is raven and it does not sound very manly anyway <clears throat> um she and these three guys pretty much go in and try and save the world but Mace, Raven, and Vine are halflings, and they're trying to completely keep that secret from everybody. Um, and Raven, I, yeah, Mace and Raven have a little love triangle going on with Nikki, so they're all trying to figure this out. But if they, either if they don't get the girl or they do get the girl, it doesn't actually specifically say that in the thing. Um, they can lose everything, including their souls, which I think is interesting like i have haha yep werewolf by curtis jobling yeah it's about a guy named drew uh who's an unordinary boy until his mom gets killed by an unknown creature and he has to go figure out so he leaves his town of i don't even know lycia yeah i don't know how to pronounce that Anyway, he leaves and goes to Direwood. I'm pretty sure that's how I, I'm so bad with like pronouncing names of towns and places like that. Um, but he finds out that he's like a were person, a were lord. That's the term that's written on the back of the book that I just saw. And he's like royal, so like the king's trying to kill him, and he's like the most wanted man in Lycia. 
and uh yeah also the cover is green and it's really pretty but if the rest of the books don't have this cover and i actually end up liking the series i'm going to get rid of this and get the new cover but i really like the green the next series and book i have is girl online by zoe suggs ghostwriter um i loved this book when i was like 13 um but it's by girl and penny who has a blog that nobody knows about because she goes by her al alias um girl online and the only person who knows about this blog is her best friend but when her and her family decide to go on a trip to did i say we're friends on a trip nope i did not say where she goes on a trip anyway when her parents take her on a trip she meets a guy named noah who's like this big pop star um but he has like a huge secret that could turn her whole life around and could like ruin her best relationships and things like that so it's like it sounds good but like i tried reading the first like three or so pages and i was like Neh. yeah you can see where i like tabbed it right here okay so our last book is city of bones by cassandra clare i have never read a cassandra clare book in my entire life ever and i know that's like in the booktube community um i have seen the shadow hunter show and i was like meh mostly only watched it for magnus bane and the other dude but i don't even remember his name because it was so long ago um but magnus bane stood out to me because um same anyway um this is about a girl named clary who witnesses a murder from people she's not supposed to be able to see and then she like falls in love with jace that his name Yeah, that's his name. Falls in love with Jace and is like, I'm gonna come with you into this world I've never been before. And then realizes she's like, oh my god, I'm like one of you people or like half of you people. Or, I don't know. And then her mother goes missing. It sounds like a basic fantasy to me. Kind of sounds like a different version of what's the book? Wereworld, that one. But like with demon slayers, which sounds really cool. I like demons. I'm, I don't let that stuff into my house. I don't like demons. I like reading about demons. Okay. Anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. All my social media also be down below. Please, 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 if you know somebody who likes my style or and is my size, um, please check out my Depop because um, I need money for this channel. Um, but... Yeah, that's all. If you have anything you want to see, any books you want me to read, anything you want me to do just in general, because this is not strictly a booktube channel, you can scroll through my channel and figure that out real fast. Um, and I will see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye!